Hey everybody, so just wanted to quickly show you something. Uh, it, it's not necessarily complicated, but it, it might help you get the job done sometimes. Let's go back to our prior example where we were uh, looking at folks by uh, their country and, and some, other, some other things. Let's say we're looking at this. Get rid of that. Actually, hang on. Because I need to leave that for everybody to review on GitHub later. So let me now that I paste it. No. Here we go. And uncommenting code is something that's very useful. Let's see if this runs. Great. Now, imagine somebody gave you a list of customers that they wanted to focus on. And they didn't know how to give you that list of customers through a query from a database. Maybe it came from like a trade show. Um, you know, say you have 10 uh, emails from a trade show and you want to check whether or not they exist in your customer's table. Pretty common. Uh, so let's just take 10 at random here, or whatever, some arbitrary number. Let's uh, throw this into an Excel spreadsheet real quick. And what we're gonna do is we're going to use a where clause. We're going to say, we're going to select all this. We're going to say where c.email in. So this is a, kind of a subquery, but what we're going to do is we're just going to paste the list into here. The thing you have to keep in mind is when you paste the list, you need to use single quotes. So I usually just go in here, I'll pull that down. Oh, come on, Mac. And we'll just concatenate the whole thing. So start with one quote, get the email, finish with the quote, uh, then it's a comma, and you're gonna get rid of the last comma. So now this is ready to paste right into PG Admin. And you can see we're email in here. And right now we have 599 rows for every customer. But once we paste that in, we're just going to have 13 rows and it'll return anything it finds. So that's pretty handy. Uh, it, comes off, it comes up more than you might think. And it's a good way to kind of effectively, you know, do like an inner join on outside of the database data. And uh, I didn't realize this at first. Once I found out, it kind of simplified some things for me. Figured I would show it to you just so you had a good sense of how it worked. Make sure you always, you never have a uh, the trailing comma here and never use double quotes. And obviously make sure you don't have spaces. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty useful trick.